My learn come and welcome to part 2 of 2 of the tutorial on module 1.9 to module 2.4 transition. And on in part 1 we looked at creating a backup using the um, backup path um, in the course and we've successfully created a zip file now here in Moodle uh, in the part 2 we'll be looking at restoring that zip file as a, into a course and on Moodle 2.4 now this is typically a cate uh, category structure that uh, you would create on your um, server you may have a different um, way of uh, organizing your courses but this is how we've done it so in order to restore that English course we'll be going into the English uh, category um, an English key stage 3 um, would be appropriate for the uh, year 7 um, course that we are trying to recover now there are two ways to recover this you can obviously recover um, it, it as a new course or you can recover it and merge it into an existing course uh, we are going to recover it as a new course but in order to do that we would need to go in to an existing course um, and use the recovery option there so I'm just going to step out a moment and you would see the logic of this in a second um, and use one of these courses now these are existing courses that you may have and if you haven't got one um, you may want to um, recover this um, or use one of the existing uh, or create a dummy course um, and recover it from there and recover or restore your um, course from there so I'm going to click on restore under settings in this particular course that I've gone into I'm not going to do um, it's not going to destroy the course or, or in any shape or form change the course but we're just using um, the restore option here now obviously this has been restored from a, a different a course area has been created a course backup has been created so I'm going to choose um, a file that I'll recover this from then this file is actually in on my desktop so I'm just going to go to my desktop and pick on the backup file that I have created earlier S um, once I've done that once I've chosen the file I'm going to click on upload the file and this is going to take a while so we'll come back and um, revisit this later now depending on your s the speed of your connection and the size of your backup file um, it may take a while to upload the zip file itself so once it's done, you'll be shown this particular page where it says import a backup file back to where we were earlier. Now we're going to restore this file, so click on restore. Um, there, are, there are about seven steps um, just to confirm uh, your option. So we we'll go through and um, we'll go through these steps one at a time. So we'll click on continue for the first one. Now we're just going to restore it as a new file. You can actually restore it into this course, which is not what we want because um, we want to retain this course as it is and we want to restore it as a new file. However, if you do create a dummy file, you can also restore and merge it into that course itself as a new course, um, especially if your, your course is blank, obviously. Um, but we wouldn't recommend that because there are some compatibility issues so I will go ahead and choose the restore as a new course and I would select English category to restore the course into and click continue in this next screen we'll be looking at the settings I would leave these settings as default and click next I would again leave um, the schema which is all the course content um, make sure that they are all checked and they should be checked by default so I'm just going to accept the default again by clicking next and finally um, this is just a review process where it takes you through all the settings that you have selected and because we've accepted the default there is really nothing much we can check so I'll click on perform restore to start the restore process 
And finally, this is the good news. Uh, we've come to the completion state stage, and it says the course was restored successfully. Um, all we need to do now is to click on the continue button, and it should send us into the new course. So you notice that we're no longer in the old course. Um, sorry, in the existing course where we used um, that as a launch pad to restore this course. Um, in another tutorial, you might be uh, using a dummy course um, to as a launch pad to, to recover this course. But here you are, um, a complete recovery of a 1.9 Moodle 1.9 course backup um, restored successfully on a Moodle 2.4. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we hope to see you soon in future. Do check our website at www.colormylearning.com. Um, hope to see you soon.